I definitely believe that if you're on the fence, you know, should I try this, should I not, I think you should give it a try, definitely. Um, you know, you, you may be hesitant at first, but once you start to meet the people, it's really a great bunch of kids. There's not very many troublemakers. No one really has any big problems. Everyone's pretty nice and welcoming. And it's definitely a lifelong sport. You'll never grow out of it if you stay with it, as well as the characteristics, the self-awareness, the focus, the drive to compete, and the, the experience of competing. You know, I don't really get nerves anymore because I've been competing so long and it's something that'll help you on the range and off. I've had many uh, parents have concern about when their kid wants to join our shooting team, you know, there's guns and school and, uh, and all that good stuff. And I just sit down with the parent and tell them, hey, it's very safe. Uh, before our students even touch a firearm, we go through a four week classroom period uh, of safety training. Um, and, and there are lots of different things that we have to do before we uh, hand a kid a firearm and ammo. Then we go over the firearm, we go to the range and, and we go the without ammo and go over the parts of the gun and show them how their, their gun works and all that good stuff before we even put a round of ammunition in it. So I just tell them, you know, it's safe. We have lots of parent volunteers. Um, you know, at, we at least have two parents to every five students uh, on the range at all times. And you'll see the kids grow in maturity. Um, you put a, especially a student who hasn't shot before and you put a firearm in their hand, uh, their attitude changes a little bit. They know what that'll do. Um, so they're very careful with it. We have a staff that comes in of uh, anywhere from five to ten people and uh, basically come in, we come in about five days or so ahead of time and getting up a lot of, a lot of the, the things up like you see in the room here, our banners, our awards, uh, our raffles and so on. And uh, if, on the property of course you can see all the banners that are put up and the flags coming out down the, uh, uh, the main drive coming in uh, is a huge undertaking. And uh, as a coach, before I got involved at the national level, uh, you, you never see the behind the scenes stuff that goes on. And uh, what's also exciting about that is that the number of coaches and actually athletes that have graduated out of the program that just want to come back because they've had so much fun here as a competing athlete, want to come back and just help, just volunteer their time. And uh, we have several of them here, as a matter of fact, that are helping um, giving out shirts and information and where to go and that type of stuff. And uh, we, we get asked all the time about that. Uh, it, it just, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to have these people want to come back, want to be here, want to be here to help, want to be here supporting the program. Uh, I just can't say enough. Our coaches, our state advisors, without these folks, this program would not happen. Okay, We're here to direct it, we're here to guide it, we're here to try and, and tweak it and make it good, but these folks make this thing happen. They are the rock of this program. They are the heart and soul, the grassroots people that get things done on a local level. And uh, without their help, this, none of this would happen. Uh, we have another aspect of our program that would make it very difficult to work without, and that's our industry sponsors. Our, our sponsors uh, uh, like Beretta and, and Winchester and, and Remington and SKB and CZ USA and uh, all these sponsors, these great sponsors, uh, White Flyer, I mean I, I can go on and on for days with all our sponsors. Without their help and support, again, this would be very difficult uh, uh, to, to happen. Uh, they support this, they understand what's going on, they understand why and that's why they get behind our programs and, and why they do what they do. So uh, they're here on, on site uh, this week to again to support our program and uh, that shows. So To get involved with the Scholastic Clay Target Program or the SCTP, you can do it a few different ways. Uh, you can go right to our website which is sssfonline.org. Okay, you go on there and you can go right up to the front top left corner of the page and you can log in to start a team, register a team or something like that. Uh, very simple to do. Our information is on there. My information is national director is on there. We have uh, director of development. We have regional field representatives. All that information is on there. Very simple to contact us. Let us know how we can get you involved, how you can reach out and get the youth in your area involved with a very unique uh, opportunity to be involved with something that'll last a lifetime, something they can do as a family, uh, with parents, with grandparents, and with their kids for years to come. And uh, just watch the expression on their face of, of uh, feeling part of a program that they actually can grow in and, and get their confidence and, 
and uh, you know move up and do well in school, get great jobs. So let us know how we can help do that, and that's what we're there for.